This video will demonstrate how to install an NFC or tap reader into a Genmega Nova ATM. These readers were officially supported in software release 44. Before purchasing or installing a kit, please check with your host processor to verify that they will support this type of transaction. To install, you'll need an NFC reader, along with an accessory kit for the specific model of ATM. For Nova, the kit includes a wiring harness, some large and small cable ties, a cable identifier band, and a metal bracket. The following tools will be required for installation. A Phillips head screwdriver, a 7mm socket or nut driver, and a wire cutter. Power off the ATM. The first step will be to remove the cutout panel from the front bezel. Remove the screws that allow the front bezel to hinge forward. The cutout plate is located here, behind this section of the wiring harness. To make this installation easier, we're going to temporarily move the harness. Cut the wire tie on the outside of the bezel bracket. Then release a plastic clip that holds the harness to the slide tray. Remove the screw holding the harness tie to the mainboard bracket. Then move the harness out of the way. Now, remove the three screws that attach the bezel cutout. And remove the cutout from the back side of the bezel. To prepare the NFC reader, remove the nuts from the posts on the back of the reader. Leave the rubber gasket in place. Install the reader onto the metal bracket like this. Then, reinstall the nuts on the back using the 7mm socket or pliers. Do not over tighten the nuts as it will force the gasket out the sides and make it harder to install. Connect the cable end labeled NFC into the socket on the back of the reader. Now install the reader and bracket back into the bezel. Reinstall the three screws and secure the bracket to the bezel. With the reader installed, it should sit slightly proud of the front bezel, as shown here. Now let's complete the wiring. Remove the metal mainboard cover. Unplug the mainboard power connector and install the adapter for the NFC reader. One end of the wiring harness has three bare wires, black, white, and yellow. Install the cable identifier band over these wires. Because the Nova already uses the header connector on the main board, you'll need to add these three wires to the existing connector. Looking at this diagram of the cable and connector, there are already wires installed in the A1, A2, and B1 sockets in the connector. Per the diagram, the new wires will go in as follows. Black wire to B2, white wire to B3, and yellow wire to A3. Push each wire into the correct location of the connector. And make sure that they go all the way down into the socket. When plugging the wires into the connector, make sure that this flat part is facing up. It should lock into the rectangle cutout on the connector. This will prevent the wires from pulling back out of the sockets. With the wires installed in the connector, reinstall it back into the socket on the mainboard. Carefully bundle the wires and reattach the harness connector to the mainboard bracket. Use the small cable ties to hold the new wires to the original harness. Use one of the large cable ties to reattach the harness to the bezel support. Once that's done, 
reinstall the mainboard cover. Return the bezel to its upright position. When you power on the ATM, the NFC reader should beep and light up all four LEDs across the top. Only the left LED will stay lit at idle. To enable this device in the ATM software, enter the operator menu using the master password. Choose ATM OP. From the main operator menu, choose System Setup. Then choose Device Setup. Now select Card Reader Setup. Here you'll find the NFC reader. If you do not see this option, it means that your software does not support this device. Upgrade to version 44. With the device enabled, back out of the menu. At the welcome screen, you should see this symbol to indicate that the NFC reader is ready to go. You can now tap your card near the reader to start a transaction. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please contact your mega support.